Since hypersonic e-jets are the fastest e-jets in the world, it is natural that their speed will catch the attention of people all over the world. Governments all over the world are investing heavily in the development of these e-jets in an effort to surpass one another in the never-ending power struggle between nations. What's good you guys? This is Market Thrive, and today, we're going to talk about how Elon Musk provided the US Air Force with hypersonic e-jets. Before we start the video, I would just like you to do me a favor by just hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification down below to keep you updated on this channel. So without further ado, let's hop into it. As had been the case with the first two test flights, the third test flight of the hypersonic fighter E-Jets was unsuccessful, and the causes of this have not been identified. The missile was tested in the United States on Wednesday, but it was unable to disengage from the B-52H bomber's wing. The launch process was interrupted before it could be released because of an undisclosed problem. The missile will be brought back to the plant where study of the onboard data and telemetry will start right away. Collins added that the United States would do everything necessary to start testing as soon as feasible in a statement to the magazine. The second hypersonic fighter E-Jet test flight was aborted in July according to the United States Air Force because the missile failed to ignite properly. The first test, which was conducted in April, was also aborted because the missile malfunctioned due to the carrier's failure. The U.S. military is creating at least three different types of hypersonic weapons, including the conventional quick-strike weapon system for the Navy, the long-range hypersonic weapon system for the Army, and hypersonic fighter E-Jets for the Air Force. In order to supply the U.S. Air Force with hypersonic fighter E-Jets, Elon Musk is hopeful. The Starship, as Musk refers to it, will be ready to deliver hypersonic e-jets in a few days. He claimed at a presentation while standing in front of it. This is the core description that comes to mind when thinking of hypersonic aircraft and weapons. And it also applies to hypersonic sound. As an illustration, hypersonic light and sound frequencies that are greater than about a billion megahertz. Any flight that exceeds Mach 5 and descends below a height of around 5 miles is considered to be in a hypersonic flight. Extremely significant heat loads are also produced as a result of the dissociation of air that results from these events. In its simplest form, hypersonic flow can be characterized as high-energy flow. Hypersonic weaponry, which is one example of this phenomenon, is capable of traveling at speeds five times or greater than the speed of sound. The Air Force is thinking about making a lot of upgrades and additions in order to handle these new challenges. A particular focus is placed on updating and simplifying the fighter fleet. According to the General, it will be necessary to gradually reduce the operation of seven aircraft fleets at all times. Hinault spoke with reporters during the press conference. That is astronomically expensive. Fleets are overly numerous. In addition to expanding the capabilities of precision strike weapon systems by enabling quick response strikes against heavily fortified land targets, Musk claimed that the ARRW system is built to give the ability to eliminate high-value, time-sensitive targets. Budget requests made by the services for fiscal year 2022 included $238 million for ongoing research and development and $161 million for the initial purchase of the hypersonic system. The F-15C and D aircraft are being retired by the Air Force since they have outlived their usefulness and are no longer required. Quote, they're becoming gradually unflyable, end quote, Hinot said of them. As a result, many of the automobiles in our storage facility eventually need to be grounded. In 2030, if everything goes according to plan, the Air Force also plans to retire the legendary A-10 ground assault aircraft. The four aircraft types that will continue to be in use are the F-22, F-35, F-15, EX, and F-16. The two primary categories of hypersonic weaponry are hypersonic light vehicles and hypersonic cruise missiles. Hypersonic weapons are those that travel at a speed of five times or more than the sound of speed. Scramjet-powered hypersonic cruise missiles with a maximum range of fewer than 100,000 feet. Vehicles that can glide at hypersonic speeds can move more quickly. In contrast to a ballistic trajectory, a hypersonic vehicle would be able to deviate from a parabolic trajectory by a significant amount. Russia and China are leading the development of hypersonic weapons, with the U.S. falling behind, according to a July 2019 CNBC report. In this instance, the problem is being resolved through a collaborative effort including the entire Department of Defense. The U.S. Army, U.S. Navy, and U.S. Air Force are collaborating on a project to create a hypersonic light body. India is developing weapons akin to this. Australia and France might also be interested in the technology. 
Japan is purchasing boost glide and scramjet weaponry. The initiative itself has the power to fundamentally alter the defense sector. If the Air Force decides to acquire NG-80 soon, it will be adding a competitor to the F-35 and F-15X programs, perhaps compromising both. Due to the fact that the private sector invented the superior manufacturing procedures needed to produce the NGAD, a new prime contractor for aircraft could emerge as a result of the initiative. A flying full-scale fighter prototype's release could be just what the Air Force needs to convince Congress to increase funding for it. According to Mackenzie Eaglin, a defense budget analyst at the American Enterprise Institute, at a crucial juncture when the service needs to pick up steam and is suffering financial challenges. Defense authorities and media publications predict that Japan's defense sector will grow in 2022 as a reaction to the People's Republic of China's and North Korea's growing threats. The country's defense self-sufficiency is also intended to be strengthened by the acceleration. Long-range cruise missiles, autonomous combat drones, stealth fighter jets, and hypersonic weaponry are among the advanced goods now in development. Japan's defense ministry has established a new office to oversee and support the nation's military industry. Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi stated at his year-end news conference on December 28, 2021, quote, In order to complete Japan's defense, it is essential to focus on maintaining and strengthening the defense industry and technological basis given the increasingly severe security environment and the rapid progress of technological innovation, end quote. According to Kishi, the Division for Equipment Policy of the Japanese Agency for Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics would house the new Defense Industrial Policy Office. Its main goal will be to keep boosting and revitalizing the defense industry's technological prowess and competitiveness. According to agency documents, ATLA was founded in 2015, a year after Japan's constitutional restrictions on arms exports were lifted to improve the nation's defense sector by boosting technology research and development and sales to allies. To create defensive assets, ATLA works with Japan's top defense companies. The planned FX stealth aircraft, also known as a sixth-generation fighter, is the greatest current defense project in Japan and is anticipated to replace the nation's fleet of approximately 90 Mitsubishi F-2 fighters. After Mitsubishi Heavy Industries completes the design and manufacturing preparations, Japan intends to create the first FX prototype in 2024, with flight testing planned for 2028. Between now and 2035, Tokyo plans to invest about 48 billion yen in the fighter. According to the Japanese Defense Ministry, the PRC has three times as many fourth-generation supersonic aircraft as Japan does. Defense News claims that MHI is also developing the Faithful Wingman, an autonomous combat drone. The drone developed in collaboration with Subaru Corps is anticipated to support the FX as a scout and in combat using the air-to-air -air missiles incorporated inside the F. In order to enable unmanned aircraft, the Defense Ministry has allocated 24.3 million for remote and an additional 1.9 million for artificial intelligence. In order to create hypersonic weapons, including a cruise missile and a glide projectile, MHI is working with ATLA, according to Jane. The system should be prepared for deployment by the middle of the 2020s. With the use of such hypersonic weapons, Japan might be able to attack hostile military targets and deter attacks from North Korea or the People's Republic of China. The Japanese news publication Nikkei Asia reports that MHI is also developing a long-range conventional cruise missile that can reach targets up to 1,000 kilometers away. The missile would be employed as a deterrence and have a range up to 10 times greater than the Japanese Self-Defense Forces' present cruise missiles. According to Japanese defense sources quoted by the Associated Press, Tokyo's choice to use domestically produced missiles may save money and reduce the country's reliance on US-made long-range cruise missiles. So what do you think about hypersonic fighter E-Jets? Feel free to jot down your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. And if you want to stay updated in our posts, hit that subscribe button as well. Once again, this is Market Thrive, signing off.